decimal to binary conversion problem 1 convert decimal 25 to binary number so we use a method called repeated division method to do the conversion in this since we want to convert 25 to a binary number the base of binary is 2 For binary the base is 2 so we use 2 to divide 25 by using the repeated division method so here first we divide 25 by 2 and the quotient we get is 12 and the remainder is 1 again we take the quotient and again we do repeated division by with 2 so again we get the quotient 6 and the remainder is 0 again divide 6 by 2 so the remainder so the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 0 again divide 3 by 2 quotient is 1 Reminder is 1. Again repeat this. Divide 1 by 2. So you are taking the quotient and dividing by 2. So you get the quotient 0 and the reminder is 1. So you repeat this process till the quotient is 0. Now we get the answer for this 25 decimal 25 we get the binary equivalent binary number from 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 this so here this is the lsb bit and this is the msb bit So how the answer will be is so for the decimal 25 the answer is this since I said this is the MSB and this is the LSB. So you write the answer in this way. So you start from here and you start from here and write the answer. So it is 11001 and this is the least significant bit here and, and this one is the most significant bit. Problem 2 convert 0 0.625 base 10 to binary number so here in the previous problem we we got we saw the how to convert a integer to a integer part of the decimal number to a binary form here we are going to see how the fraction part of the decimal number we are going to convert to a binary form so we use repeated multiplication method in this we repeatedly multiply the number by 2 because we are want we want the equivalent binary number so for binary the base is 2 so we take the number 0 0.625 and we multiply by 2 so we get 1.25 so here the 1 is the integer part in this number in this decimal number and 0.25 is the fraction part so we write the integer part here and the fraction part here again we will take the fraction part that is the 0 0.25 and multiply by 2 so we get 0 0.5 in this 
0 is the integer part and 5 is the fraction part. So, 0 is the integer part and 0.5 is the fraction part. Again, we will multi multiply 0.5 by with 2 and you get 1. So, here this is the integer part and there is no fraction part. So, fraction part is 0. zero. So, you repeat this process till the fraction part is 0. So, the answer will be One zero, one, and here this is the MSP bit, and this is the LSP bit. Problem three: Convert fifty-seven point eight two five to the base ten to binary number. So, here we got in this decimal number, uh, we got both the integer part and the fraction part. So, now let us see how to proceed with this. So, for this you, you use repeated division method to convert 57 to binary number to its equivalent binary number and 0 0.825 you use repeated multiplication method to convert to its equivalent binary number and then you combine both. First let us take 57. So, 57 divided by 2, the quotient is 28 and the remainder is 1 and take the quotient 28 and divide by 2. So, the quotient will be 14 and the remainder is 0. Again, take the quotient 14 divided by 2, you get 7 as the quotient and the remainder is 0. 7 by 2 gives 3 as the quotient and remainder is 1. Again, 3 by 2 will give 1 as the quotient and the remainder is 1. Again, divide the quotient 1 by 2. So, you get the uh, quotient 0 and the remainder is 1. So, you continue this process till you get the quotient as 0. So, now take the remainder with this only we are going to get the answer for 57. So, here this is the MSP bit and this is the LSB bit and you write starting from here and go upwards. So, the answer is for 57. So, 57 base 10 is 111001. So, you are starting from here and going up till here. Next, we are taking the the fraction part 0 0.82. So, we use repeated multiplication method. So, we multiply by 2, we get 1.650. So, in the integer part, you write the this 1 is written. Next, in the fraction part, you write this. So, 0 0.650. So, take the fraction part 0 0.650 and again multiply by 2, you get 1.3. So, again in this, the fraction uh, integer part is 1 and the fraction part is 0.3. Again take the fraction point part 0.3 multiply by 2 you get 0.6. So, here there is uh, the, the integer part is 0 and the fraction part is 0.6. Again repeat this. So, you get uh, take the fraction part 0.6 into 2 you get 1.2. So, here the integer part is 1 and the fraction part is 0.2. Again take the 0.2 and multiply by 2 you get 0.4. So, the fraction part is uh, integer part, part is 0 and the fraction part is 0.4. So, this goes on repeatedly without a end. So, so I said you should stop till the uh, fraction part is till the fraction part you get a 0 you, sh you should continue. 
but here the fraction in the the, the this problem it goes on repeatedly so there will not be any uh, zero in the fraction part it will continually go on keep on going so we stop till uh, till here so now we have to find the answer from the in from this part so from this uh, bits we will find the answer so here this is the msb bit and it comes here and and this is the lsb so here in this we will write the answer from up to down so for point 0 0.825 decimal we get the binary equivalent as 11010 so now we found for 57 as well as for 0.825 now we shall we should combine these two and find for the complete one so for 57 it is this and for 0.825 it is this so we combine this so for this this is the answer so this is 57 for the the binary number for 57 and this is the binary equivalent for the 